Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. On this channel, we upload beautifully edited, <laughs> beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. This video is uncut. In today's uncut, I got my baby brothers. I had to take him away from mommy for a little bit because she needs to get some rest. And I need to get this video up in like 10 minutes, so. <laughs> hey bud, you gonna be nice with me today? You gonna be nice while we do a video real quick? As soon as he starts freaking out, we're gonna have to show you the snakes that I'm gonna show you in this video. We've got another clutch on the ground, pretty cool. And we'll go from there. So today's video, I, I didn't know what I was gonna talk about per se. I had all these thoughts running through my head about what to talk about what to do for an uncut video this week. And YouTube and all of the way that clickbait works, works, clickbait works, it does work. And uh, how generally a train wreck brings in attention. A negative uh, leaning thumbnails get the most attention, period. And so I've tried to use that in the past and in the f present to bring in eyes but then have something positive to present once that comes in here you know so that it can still have a good effect and so the question is do the ends justify the means and uh there's a couple different analogies that i thought of in there and since this guy's hanging out with me this morning i thought that was a good one like you know the all of the time that hillary had to carry this baby uh in her body and all of the uh pain what is was probably I would imagine the most excruciating pain she'll ever go through in her life to bring him into this world. The ends justify the means? <laughs> you tell me. Or no, you don't need to tell me. I'll tell you. Yes. But without having to go through the pain myself. Yes. Yes. I think she would agree. I'd almost guarantee she would agree. Huh, bud? Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's a sleepy guy. Um... And so that's, that's where my train of thought has been. And I was kind of like bouncing back and forth between these different negative ideas. And, and the, the thing about YouTube, though, I don't know if that lines up the same. I was looking at lots of different video thumbnails and scrolling through and, and just, just the looking of all these different negative ideas and, and the realization that I've had time and time again. And, and because of human nature being so attracted to train wrecks and uh, drawn in by negative attention, just having that realization again because I've had it before really depressed me and it depressed me too a bit that I'm taking part in it in it a bit and like wondered do I want to keep doing that um is it worth it do the ends justify the means I don't know I don't know I don't know right now you know there's there's a lot happening in the world my mind is definitely taken hundreds of places in a single day whether it's Thinking about the project I'm working with a, a buddy, um, to just to just help him out of his house, or uh, other other people who have little tiny projects that I'm trying to help them out with. Uh, in addition to all my own projects with the the whiskey channel and the triple B T V and and the all the snakes, and I've played a lot of pickleball. Considering like what it would, might look like to attempt to become a pro pickleball player, <laughs> actually I'm doing that. Um, Oh, 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 you're looking for mommy's boobs? Sorry, you're not going to find it right there. You're not going to find it right there, my guy. Oh, it's a bright morning, isn't it? It's a bright morning. <laughs> so yesterday, we had Justin Julinder on Triple B TV, one of the authors of the More Complete Carpet Python. Great guy, uh, wealth of knowledge, and that video got hardly any views for a channel that has 18,000 subscribers. Um, so I'm like, figure out, we're trying to think, what do I do? Do I need to do more train wreck stuff to uh, just get people to soak up some good information? I don't want to. Oh, oh, and he don't want to eat a... But anyway, go check that out. Link in the description. Uh, we're going to be doing them every week like we have been. Live streams. Next week we have Nick Mutton on... Uh, who is the other author of The Complete Carpet Python. And we're gonna have a pretty good conversation, I think, about pythons and their place in the industry or hobby. Um, should be a really good conversation. And after that, 
Actually, before that, I'm thinking about doing a 30 minute live stream here on this channel, since this channel seems to have much more attention than my Triple B TV channel, just to kind of get people built up for the next live stream on the other channel and kind of just keep the party rolling, so to speak. Let me know if that's something you would A, would be interested in or B, would participate in. And just I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I've been talking about so far today, because my own thoughts aren't good. They're not good. And I need other, I need some, woo, that's a big poop happening right now. <laughs> All right. Why don't we take a look at this snake I was going to show you. This, this is uh, clutch number six, right? Oh, clutch number seven. Clutch number seven. You know what's amazing? We've had seven clutches so far this season. Only one slug out of all those clutches. I think that's incredible. I don't know what the odds are with that, but they seem pretty good to me. So I'm gonna, this is going to be the most difficult part of the video for me because I'm going to attempt to show you the snake. That means picking up the camera while holding him and keeping him happy. And then I'm going to go change his diaper because I don't know if you can hear that on the camera or not. But then, <laughs> that was an explosion. All right. Let's see. So the mom, I'll, talk, I'll do the talking here. The mom, Cindy, is our Enchi Firefly Clown, who is actually from the second clutch we ever produced here at Triple B. So um, sh that's pretty awesome. That's a, it's a pretty cool snake. Almost considered selling her to Brian Gundy at one point and then just ended up keeping her, which is cool. And she was paired with Destro, who is an Orange Dream Spot Nose Clown. So we're going to get 100% clowns in the clutch and all different combinations of Orange Dream, Spot Nose, Enchi, Fire, Pastel. Right? Right. She got nine eggs. Oh, oh I'm going to turn off the volume, see if you guys heard that one. It's getting explosive. All right. Here she comes. That's Big Mama. That's Big Mama there. I just realized I don't have another hand, because this one's over here doing this, to move her aside so you can look at those eggs. Let's see if we can figure that out real quick. Camera, you sit there without falling on. Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. Camera, you get inside the tub. I'll use this hand here. We'll do a little flippity flap and point it at her. Oh! Okay, <laughs> that was bad. We're not doing that again. Sorry, mommy. <laughs> uh, talking to the snake. Sorry about that. That was dumb. This was a dumb idea. See you guys. Have a great day. Aloha.